is Rachel Becker and I am the OER Librarian at Madison College. This tutorial will look at using the OER Worksheet as a tool for finding OER resources for different courses at the college. Here I have the worksheet open in Google Drive. First, I need to go up to File and either make a copy of it to save it into my own personal Google Drive or download a copy of it in Word on my computer. Here I'm going to make a copy of it and save it into my Google Drive. Now that I have a copy open, I'm going to add my own course information. For this example, I'm going to use College Algebra as my example. I can go ahead and add different identifying information that will help me narrow my scope for this search for my target audience. I can add whether it's for specific majors at the college or whether it's for just general, um, general populations. Or I can add other information, for example, if it were for a course that was for a specific trade or a specific uh, program, that might be helpful as well. If this has a current textbook associated with it, this will be helpful to include a link to it here so that in section two, when I identify different keywords for it, I can use that information there. Here's a link to the Madison College Bookstore website, which can be a helpful place to go to find this information. For this example, I'm going to use this textbook here, College Algebra 11th edition. For this, I'm just going to grab the link from here and add this directly below here. Another useful bit of information can be whether it's included in the rental program, as this may be inform us whether we need to contact the bookstore later on regarding our adoptions or whether we need to look at other information. In section two under topic identification, this will help us when we're looking for different um, keywords and when we're searching in different repositories later. So we want to identify at least five different topics that we can use in our search. And here we have a hint, the textbook table of contents can be helpful. When we go back to our page here that we have open from our textbook, here's the table of contents. And this tells us what's in this textbook and gives us an overview of the different, um, the different topics that are covered in the book. So for example, for college algebra, I can see that equations and inequalities, graphs, functions, and geometry are covered. So I can go ahead and add these various bits of information to my worksheet. I'm just going to add a couple um, examples here and then I'm going to add some keywords. So for example, I might add um, for under equations and inequalities, I might add um, equations as a keyword under polynomials. If I go back under this section and look under here, I might add polynomials is one that comes up quite frequently, so maybe I'll add that under a keyword. And this section is one that I might come back to and refine as I continue searching. I would fill this out more completely if I was doing this not during an example. Going down to number three, resource type. This is a helpful area to brainstorm before we get started searching. So for this example, I'm, I know that I'm looking for a textbook and I know that I might be looking for some sort of online learning management or online support system. And that is similar to, this would be similar to my math lab. We know for textbooks that these search terms 
might include some of these up here. And so those are fairly straightforward, but when we're looking for online support systems like My Math Lab, we might want to search for things like homework systems. If we're looking for quizzes, we might want to look for um, student quiz or um, college algebra quizzes, something like that. After we've done some brainstorming on the previous sections, we can go down to section three and actually start our search. And I've listed some common areas that are helpful to start our search. And this will be informed by our resource types. For example, Open Textbook Library is a really great place to go when we're looking for specific textbooks. And when I go up here, I can just simply type in one of the search options that we brainstormed. College Algebra is fairly straightforward, so I expect to get a few results from this. So it can be helpful to kind of scroll through and see what we get. And we can click on one, and Open Textbook Library is really great because it offers a lot of different reviews and other things. And during this phase, it can be helpful to just kind of do a brief overview of what we find, looking at the different formats, whether that will work for us, and maybe looking at auxiliary material. But at this phase, we want to write down titles of titles and URLs of all the items that we find that fit our topics. So this can be helpful because maybe later on we realize that something that we looked at was helpful, but um, maybe it wasn't helpful for exactly what we were looking for at this time. So I would continue doing this and reviewing different sources and putting them into my worksheet here. If I was looking for different quizzes, I might explore one of the other search options here keeping in mind what we reviewed during our previous topics in this course. After we filled in all of, filled in several different resources, we go down to uh, section number four, and we actually evaluate the different resources. So we go up to section three, and we actually click on the links, and we review the different sources that we've gathered. And keeping these three in mind, we target the three most promising ones. And if we're looking for different types of resources, for example, if we're looking for both textbooks and quizzes, we would want to find six total, so three from each section. And if you're looking for different types, it might be helpful to do a separate worksheet for each type of resource that you're looking for, depending on how you want to organize your research but we want to review these for relevance. So does the information address one or more of your class objectives? Accuracy, is the information accurate and up to date? And when we're looking at our resources, we want to look at was the, what was the copyright year and um, what, what are the reviews saying and so forth. Production quality, is the information clear and understandable? Is the layout or interface easy to navigate? Accessibility, is the resource available in an alternative format? For example, is it available in .doc or PDF? Does the audio slash video resource have transcript or subtitles? And this is a really important point, but it's also one that might that you might be able to adjust depending on the specific type of resource and the specific license that's available. For example, this one, we see that it has a CCBY, so this might be one that we could modify if it doesn't fit the accessibility needs. Ratings, have other faculty adopted this resource? Have other users rated the resource highly? And this specific OER repository does have, does have reviews included. Licensing. 
does the resource does the license for the resource allow the reuse or remixing of the material and can you modify the resource for your course you may not hit all of these but figure out what's important to you for your specific needs and include the items below finally number five reflect reflect on the following questions so did the did you find the materials that could fit your needs if you didn't find the materials, did anything that you identified in number four loosely fit what you needed? And if it did, maybe the licensing will allow you to make adjustments to those. Which materials did you find that could be used as is? So could you simply share them as a link or print them, whatever format suits your needs? Which materials would require some, re some massaging or remixing on your part? and you could include those here. And finally, you can always contact your OER librarian at any time for more assistance. So feel free to use this document as a way to start your searching and a way to organize your resource. And feel free to make edits to it as well. But I hope that this is a great way for you to get started and a great tool that you can use. Thank you.